My name is Amber Reed, R-E-I-D. Birthday, 122790. I'm turning 32, but like, I'm almost positive my like mental age, like my brain is stuck at 17. I'm actually starving, so. Oh, okay, yes, I troll. Whatever, troll land has entered the chat. I'm totally fine with a clickbait title because you guys know I love me a clickbait title. You're not paying attention to your health, you don't care about your health, you don't care about your body, you want to die, you could have ate healthy, you Eat chose not to, do you really need to go on vacation, you need to buy health insurance instead. I just don't want to hear it. No one cares! Hey guys, good morning aus Deutschland, good morning from Germany. Apologies for the voice, but you know what the deal is, it's fall in Germany. Pile and dust and everything else is getting blown about. This Amber has posted another video and it's titled My Love Life Sucks. I'm not dieting. Let's go to the casino. The whole thing is roughly 12 minutes long. Let's see what she has to say. Hello, hello. Good morning. Morning. Welcome to a new vlog. So I showered, got ready for the day. Wow, every single vlog. You know we don't believe you. So why even mention it? My typical morning routine. Which you do not have any. But I'm currently standing in my closet and I have no idea what I want to wear today. A lot of you watching knows how that feels to have clothes, of course, but feel like, hmm, I have nothing to wear today. So these are all my dresses. What a bitch. There are so many people that don't have that much to wear. And they don't complain about their lives, but she has to, okay? Go ahead. Uh, and that's what I prefer. I do have a couple shirts, not many. And these are like my sweaters and stuff, but I definitely don't need to be wearing that today because it's a little warm out. Okay, Amber, I would like for you to point out how many of these shirts and dresses that you wear as shirts still fit you. Because we all know it's not the entirety that's hanging there. But I'm not really sure what type of moment. Um, it's the moment to just cut this out and move on. I might want to wear this guy, but I wear a black dress under it, obviously, because it's see-through, which I actually have over here in my shirts. Just like one of these guys here. All right, so here is my outfit. Okay, she's cute. I'm loving her. Wow, being vain, that is really attractive for a 600 pounder that has nothing to offer to the world i literally have been wearing this necklace every single day i just feel like it goes so good because i've also been wearing these hoops every single day like that's just been my go-to very high chenny mm -hmm. so on my cute little bookshelf here this is actually where i decided to put my perfume because it just made sense and i thought it looked cute so today of course she has to show her play button the way she got it back then i wish i had the time but I don't. Um, that was when she lost all those subscribers. And then she had the audacity to film um, the the unboxing of that play button. That was a joke in uh, 2019. I think I'm going to be wearing this one. KKW, which is a Kim Kardashian perfume. How about you take a shower? That also helps with the body odor. It honestly smells so amazing. Not when you spray it over body odor, though. One of my faves, for sure. Spritz here and spritz there. I used to actually... Over your cheap-ass jewelry, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. I actually keep this in my purse, but I keep a new one in there. Not a new one. I just, like, switched it out. It's actually, like, the little one to this, which is Blush by Kenneth Cole. We are 1 minute 38 seconds into the video and nothing's been said. That's really interesting to anybody. Which is also a really good one. Okay, so this is probably really silly to some people, which I understand it's gonna be, but my bucket list. I've always wanted to go to a casino. I know that. Okay, girl, how about you put on the bucket list being able to wipe yourself again without any help? Hmm. It's like so weird, but it is something on my bucket list, and we're doing it today. We're currently at a casino. Of course we are, because we are alcohol addicts, we are drug addicts, and we've had a food addiction that we've been feeding for 32 years, 
and uh, we've ended up weighing 600 pounds. And so why not add gambling as another way of spending time? Sure. The only casino I've ever been, I mean, when I was younger in high school, um, I did stay in Reno, Nevada for, I don't know, I don't know, like five nights. And there was like casinos there, but I was 16. So I literally just walked through one, one time. And since that point, I was like, oh my God, that looks kind of fun. So we're here. Uh huh. What do you mean? Don't, don't I mean, forget don't to step <laughs> My mom said, don't forget to step off. Oh my God. Oh. Here we are, folks. We are here, oh my God. Oh my God, I'm finally here at 32. Look at all that. Okay, what do I do? 75. Do I press this button? Yeah. Okay. Of course her mom knows how to gamble. That's no big surprise. All right. Seventy five cents? Three dollars and seventy five cents. Yeah. Three dollars seventy five cents. Okay. So how much for each spin is it? Seventy five cents. Seventy five cents. Okay. Very flattering angle, Amber. Very flattering. Are your elbows resting on your hips again? At the casino. She's her own couch. <laughs> Oh, is this See how her hair is breaking off there on the right temple. Looking at it from her point of view. Holy smokes. Is this my credit right here? Yeah. So that's how much I've won. That's how much you have total. $20.20. Oh, and then you get to press the cash out when you're over it. When you're done. When you're done. Oh, okay. All right, I'm starting to get it, y'all. A little shop of horrors. Machine thingy. <laughs> so you get free drinks here. So I have Diet Pepsi. Of course you still pop in the sodies. Of course you are. And of course you're having ice in them. Because there hasn't been a study that um, there's more bacteria in ice machines than there is um, in toilet bowls. Go ahead. Yum. Mm-hmm. Of course. You're not girly anymore, girl. You're 32 years old. You're wearing a high pony. I mean, not to shit on anybody's parade that wants to do what makes them happy. But she needs to grow up. I mean, looking at her channel, she needs to seriously grow up. Hello, hello. Okay, so I'm waiting for my mom. She went into the... Why couldn't you walk to the car with her? Bathroom. I had so much fun. We just like hopped around from machine to machine. I I played like easily over 20. It was a great time. I think the most I won like from one spin was like 43 or something like that. So it was really fun. The Little Shop of Horrors was definitely my favorite. It was my mom's too, but she's never even seen that movie. So I was like, mom, oh my God, there's a huge bumblebee. Okay, I'm scared. I need to go. Scared of a bumblebee throwing deuces into the camera, wearing a high pony, and uh, dressing like a slut. Sure, sure. Okay, it's gone. Whew. It was massive and it was like furry. I don't even think that was a bumblebee. I don't know what. A massive bumblebee, huh? What that was. But I think now we're probably gonna go get something to eat. Oh, there she is. Okay. Hey guys, so. Of course, you're gonna go out, get something to eat after sitting on your swamp ass for a few hours, sure. I just got home, my mom dropped me off. We ended up getting Mexican food. I got a chicken chimichanga, which is like one of my favorite things. Who cares? Why are you talking about food, honey bun, sweetie pie? I know it's not the healthiest. I 
Honestly, I don't you honestly do not know what healthy food is because look at what we're looking at. I'm on. No track, no diet. I haven't weighed myself since you guys last heard about it. Wait, I haven't weighed. And even then, was your weight a lie? Myself since my first day of living here. Oh my god. I just processed that. How long have I been here for? It's been over two weeks. Oh, I haven't been on track for two weeks. I don't know. Mm -mm. For, wait, this is October, at least 10 months. I don't know what that looks like, um, but I need to know what that looks like. I was actually talking to my mom today about like getting back on track with like a diet or whatever, and she's like, Okay, how about you drop the slimming filters to get you motivated a little bit, hmm? I'll support you. What diet do you want to do? Like when I was doing OMAD, one meal a day, I was losing a lot of. You did not do that, and we all know it, and every time you repeat it, it's just more ridiculous. I think what she's talking about when she says OMAD is one meal a day and that is she wakes up in the morning, starts eating and doesn't stop until she drops in her bed. Wait, very quickly, I lost 31 pounds in a month. I just don't think... No, you did not, Amber, and you need to stop saying it because you were visibly gaining. I mean, we're not stupid out here. Just consider for a moment that our IQ is a tad bit higher than yours. I think I'm like mentally strong enough to do that right now because mm -mm. that was hard especially in the beginning but then like you're and you're trying to take credit for it even though you didn't accomplish it that is so cringy body gets used to it and then you stop getting like super hungry like the science adds up she shakes her head while she's saying it because she knows it's a damn lie like one plus one does equal two hello hello it is the next day so i'm just going to continue on my vlog I'm wearing no foundation or anything, so, so if you... You also got the makeup on from the day before. Do you notice, like, a difference? I don't know. For me, I could definitely tell. Everyone is their own, like, worst enemy critic, whatever it may be. Hey, here's more criticism. Your hair is greasy. And, um, take showers more often. Come on. I just felt like my actual skin just needs a moment, a moment to breathe. So I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I woke up today extremely depressed because I'm just gonna say my love life. We're just gonna go with that. I'm not allowed to like go into details, but I'm just like tired of just hurting. She's not allowed to go into detail uh, according to YouTube terms of policy or what is she talking about? Um, plus, let's review. About four months ago, we're, we're, we're coming close to four months ago, she pretended to have a breakup. What actually happened is her caretaker finally announced that she's going to leave the state and her life. And so she sold it as a breakup. Then she uh, pre she, she kept going for weeks selling that uh, breakup and uh, saying how sad she is. And she also over ate on the daily, ordered out food several times a day, visibly gained, um, visibly gained uh, weight. And uh, then she pretended to be texting in a live stream with another person that she instantly fell in love with, still tried to make us believe that she is having um, sexual relations with um, her caretaker who didn't even live there anymore um, at the time. And since then, she's been acting like a slut on TikTok, uh, grabbing her boobies, licking her lips, um, using slimming filters to look more attractive, as if her real appearance is not splashed all over the internet. I mean, now she's got the gall to sit there and talk about her poor uh, love life. That is just a joke. Homegirl has no more logical strings of thoughts left in that brain. I'm, I'm really tired. Oh, we have Rarity. Hi, baby girl. Okay. Are you giving mama lovin's? Yeah. So I sat in bed for hours after I woke up and I didn't get up. And that's when I... Of course you didn't. And this is your everyday life. They were like, well, I'm depressed because I have not done that in a very long time. No, it's your everyday life and we can tell and why. Every time we see you moving around, we see that you are clumsy, you are not used to standing on your feet, so you're sitting on that ass for the most part of the day. Let's be real. So I forced myself to get up. 
I forced myself to eat something. Oh, yeah, you force yourself to get up in order to eat something. Come on. Even though I did not want to at all. And then I forced myself to do some makeup so I can film because I don't like filming without it anymore. It's just like a thing. Now I'm gonna. We are seven minutes into this hilarious video where all she does is complain about life and uh, talk about her addictions like gambling, eating. It is hilarious at this point force myself to just like clean because cleaning is super therapeutic to me i'm gonna you keep saying that but you don't do it clean things that don't even need to be cleaned so that is literally gonna be my day today literally your day is eating and lying eating and lying and filming yourself while lying so i have not even used my bathroom door which is right here because i still have these that i have to get rid of there used to be so many. Why? You said you wanted to take all the boxes to recycling. Isn't that what you said? And you're supposed to set them out for trash valet, but I feel bad. So I've only put out like one to two a day. So the pile has very much lessened, but it's happening very slow because I don't want to, I don't know. I just don't want to bombard them with a bunch of boxes. Or you're just lazy. And then my grandma actually let me use this mattress for when I first moved in because my stuff wasn't supposed to be here on time but it's finally getting picked up today so i'm actually gonna be able to use this door I actually need to set out these guys tonight for the trash valet just these two she is show she's literally showing us trash as vlogging content trash that she needs to set out that is her content right here oh my god look at all this space even rarity's like what is happening I've been here for over two weeks and it just feels like a completely new place now because this space is free. Yeah, you're just so lazy. It is pathetic. My mom's boyfriend is literally the sweetest thing. I turn my back and he's hooking up my TV for me. You turn your back. You probably threw a 20 at him and said, can you take care of this for me? Because I don't have the IQ to do it. That's most likely what happened. And I didn't even ask him to, so now I... Yes, you did. Come on. As if anybody would do anything for you without you asking them. I officially have my TV going. Hey guys, so it is the next day, so it's three days in one vlog, which I don't like doing, but we've hit a little low moment. Yeah, we did when we showed the trash that we need to take out. Jesus Christ, girl. With my mental health, which is okay. I've had by the way, she looks like one of them bingo players again, you know, Roseanne. It is hilarious. The girl is 32 years old. I have to ride the wave. Um, right now it feels like I'm drowning, but someone close to me recently said, learn to... Wait, you, you, feel, you feel like you're drowning? Maybe that's because of your uh, the state your lungs is in. Swim, so I'm doing that. I do know how to swim in real life, though. I used no, you 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 just got done saying that um, your mom's boyfriend. I mean that term alone for a thirty-two year old. But hey, I'm not bashing anyone else. That your mom's boyfriend just hooked up your TV two weeks after you moved in there because you're not learning to do anything by yourself. So my cat Rarity slept on me last night. Slept on my chest, so my eye is kind of having a moment because. I she did not. Oh my god, her whole vlog is filled with lies and bullshit. There's absolutely no way that not even a stuffed cat sleeps on her uh, chest because she sleeps sitting up. And that is because she has sleep apnea, which she was told years ago. For so she has sleep apnea, so she sleeps sitting up, otherwise she's she's going to choke in her sleep. And so there's absolutely no way that a full-size cat slept on her chest. Jesus, Amber. I'm allergic to my cats, as you guys know, but I'm about to go walk Twinkie. I'm not having... Looking like this, you're going to walk around in Oklahoma City? Okay. Okay. A good day, but I feel like my day is going to get better. Uh, my mom and her boyfriend are coming over. And we're going to cook grandma's recipe. I've actually made this on my blog before. It's just like a family recipe that um, my mom showed me when I was a little girl and we would have growing up. And you turned it into slop when you recreated it? What? What? So it's like near, dear, close to my heart. And I grew up with it, so I think that's why I like it. And it's very weird because, like I said, I showed it in a vlog. I can't even tell you how long ago. Like, eight years ago. 
Speaking of, um, this month, by the way, is my decade birthday of being on YouTube. No, it's in November. November 13 or 18. But it's definitely November. So happy birthday to me. Wow. How self-involved can one be? Looking like this at age 32. She looks like a bingo player. Happy birthday to you all. Happy birthday to this freaking... And by the way, in, in case this doesn't hit you right now, she's inside her apartment wearing her sunglasses. Channel, like a full decade, I can officially say, Amberlynn Reed has been on YouTube for 10 years. And has made a mockery of weight loss and has sold her credibility and her reputation down the river. And uh, she still, after 10 years, does not get how wrong that is. And I'm not going to lie to you. It has been a rocky, rocky, rocky. Yeah, uh, 250 pounds. Putting that kind of weight on is rough, I bet. Ride. But I have met amazing people. I have had amazing things happen to me because of... Yeah, and you ruined it all by treating people around you like shit. Mm -hmm. We watched it. YouTube have documented so much of my life. Yeah, and also all the mistakes that you should not have posted, but you did it for views anyway. But I have also left so much out. For the lack of a better term, YouTube has actually been a blessing for me, and I am so... No, it has not been. It's, it's your downfall. Appreciative to all of you. So, And the reason that is, is not because YouTube is a bad company or YouTube, you know, they don't know what they're doing over there. It is because they gave her money. They said, look, here's a handful of money. Amber Reed, what are you going to do with that? And Homegirl here decided to overeat on the daily for 10 years. And the result of that is in front of us right now. Oh, wow. Um, here's to another decade. Can you imagine in 20 years? I'm like, hey, y'all. I give you two more years tops and you're gone because then people are tired of you looking like um, a 60 year old bingo player. I'm 42, still on YouTube, still doing my damn thing. Mm -mm, you wish. That would be crazy. It would be and it's not going to happen. So for the recipe, um, you need soy sauce. Yeah, no, what you need is to skip ahead, and that's what we're gonna do. So here's what she calls the recipe. Okay, eating on camera again, looking at the viewfinder. Okay, so my mom and her boyfriend just left. Since she cooked, I will be cleaning up. That's the least you can do. The kitchen because it is a mess so dinner was amazing it definitely reminded me of happy moments in my childhood because it is something that we would have a lot and it's of course you had a lot of happy moments in your childhood of course you did you were not in foster care you were not abused your relatives are all fine people of course amber god you're full of shit even sticks out in the back there you see that crazy because my mom actually doesn't even like soy sauce that much and that's like one of the main ingredients like it adds a good amount of the flavor obviously you know how some people when they've been on youtube for a couple of months they have a microphone in front of them so that it's easier for the audience to hear them not homegirl here after 10 years she's still standing like i don't know maybe three four feet away but it's still something that we had growing up and we enjoyed it. Okay, so I got all of this cleaned up and wiped down. And now I have all of these dishes to do. Okay, hello. So I finished my dishes. Your girl is a little red. I'm having a buzz ball. I was just gonna say she's drinking again. So gambling, drinking, overeating, of course, why not? Um, this is actually- We called it Oklahoma is gonna be her final destination. My second one, I'm probably just going to have uh, the one I just had and then this one and call it a day. Keep drinking. Keep drinking, girl. Why not? It's not like you have high blood pressure. I don't have high blood pressure, but I have borderline high blood pressure um, where it's like semi-high. It's not high enough for me to take a pill, but it is there. And 
it's a little scary let's be real I've always 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 had a little bit of an elevated high blood pressure it's never been super high that's something I've never experienced besides when I was on a weight loss pill called Phentermine that's the only time my blood pressure has been stroke level but I've always had elevated blood pressure and again today it was elevated I, I guess I can't really say that that's technically bad news because it's always been like that every time I've gone to like a doctor or I've gone to the ER or just whatever reason I've gotten my blood pressure taken I've never been diagnosed medicine they've always told me you know it's fine it's fine it's fine and today I was diagnosed a high blood pressure medicine because they're very strong but I'm just kind of like winding down for the night I'm gonna finish editing this vlog I hope that you guys did enjoy it and I'm mm, bye bye Amber um yeah this is this is cringy i think she's trolling uh because why else would she show trash herself gambling herself drinking herself eating she's just trying to you know stir the pot and uh why not she's got nothing else she's got no education to speak of she's got no personality she has no idea how to dress um even at home, she runs around, like, look at this, covered in pet hair and uh, with earrings on, the makeup from the day before. It is, it's all repetitive. What can you say about this crap? And so I want to go. Thank you for listening to this, despite my voice. And um, I will see you in my next one. Bye.